Hi, I'm Shannon. And today I want to talk a little bit about interoception and the importance of interoception as it relates to the exploitable brain and brain health. What is interoception? What is interoception? Probably never heard of it. Proprioception is our body moving through space. Interoception is the ability to connect your brain with your internal organs operating in your body. So what does that mean? Well, the best way that I know to test interoception, and this is what the brain researchers have decided is a really good way to measure your ability to exercise interoception, is to actually close your eyes. It's what I do a lot with, um, with audiences where I'm, I'm talking about these issues, and see if you can actually feel your heart beating in your chest without touching your body. So you would breathe in and out and start to tap out your heart beating in your chest. This can be a great way to, to determine whether or not you can actually identify, you know, that internal connection with your heartbeat. And that tells you if you have interoception. Not everyone does. I didn't have it. When I tried that exercise the first time, I could not tap out the beating of my heart. So, you know, this is, it's, you know, it's really interesting because interoception we have learned in a research study that came out from the University of Florida in May of 2023, tells us that interoception, if you have it, correlates to a, an ability to resist scams and exploitation. So this ability to have this mind-body connection and feel the beating of your own heart also means that when you are exposed to a scam or when you are exposed to people that are lying in this particular study, it was about lying, people who have interoception are able to assess the difference between the truth and a lie. Um, we know that with scams and exploitation, there's usually also correlated a thinning of the cortical insula in the brain. And the thinning of the cortical insula is this part of the brain that kind of, kind of negates intuition. So you can't tell the difference between the truth and a lie, and you lack the ability to assess risk. And these things create this exploitable brain that makes us more susceptible to scams and exploitation. So what does this mean for seniors? What does this mean for people aging? My belief is, you know, and I'm also a yoga practitioner and I also teach yoga classes and I do quite a bit of meditation and I do a lot of breath work. I use the Wim Hof method quite, quite significantly. And I have found that as I do more of this, you know, sitting quietly, trying to connect with my internal organs, and basically that means to try and connect with the beating of my heart, I do it for about two minutes a day, my interoception has improved to the point now where I actually do have interoception. So, you know, the researchers are reluctant to say that we can actually build interoception. They're measuring whether people have it or not, and then they're associating that with whether or not they can resist this impulse to, you know, pay money to a scammer. Um, but in theory, this idea of increasing interoception, creating neuroplasticity in the brain, creating new pathways in the brain, may be an answer to some of these exploitability questions. And I think it's interesting because there are so many other added benefits to things like meditation, breath work, um, even cold plunging. <laughs> we know that cold plunging, which is also part of this Wim Hof method, does in fact increase, um, you know, it basically does so many cool things to the brain. It's, it's too broad to, to kind of dial into it during this. But what I'm really interested in for seniors is this new scientific data that's telling us that interoception can be a good protective uh, thing to have as we age and become more and more exposed to scams and exploitation. Okay, think about it, interoception. Can we add it into our diet of other good things to delay dementia and improve brain health, things like healthy eating, Mediterranean diet, 
full body exercise. Again, yoga is really, really good and it may have the added benefit of increasing interoception. Um, brain games, calendaring we know does in fact work. It delays dementia. And then the fifth one is sleep. We need eight to nine hours of sleep. These are really the top five things that delay um, uh, dementia progression. But let's add number six, potentially, as interoception. Developing the mind-body, internal body connection may in fact help our brains stay healthy as we age. Okay, I'm Shannon. Have a good one.